Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the immunoelectrophoresis. Immunoelectrophoresis was described by Graber and Williams in 1953 for separation and immuno analysis of serum proteins. This particular technique involves two steps. The first step is called agarose gel electrophoresis. Agarose gel electrophoresis of protein mixture and the second step involves exposing the agar exposing electrophoresist proteins specific antibodies. Now, if we look at the immunoelectrophoresis, in the first step of immunoelectrophoresis, whatever the antigen mixture or the proteins to be analyzed are added into a well which is present towards the cathode or negative electrophore. When the electrophoresis is done, this particular uh, antigenic mixture or the proteins, they migrate towards the positively charged anode depending on their charge, shape, size and the weight. In the second process, whatever the separated antigens are there, these separated antigens they are exposed to the antibodies, specific antibodies present in the antisera in such a way that the trough is made and in this trough the antisera is added. Now, if this antigen and antibody they are complementary with each other, it will result into the formation of visible insoluble precipitating arc. Are you ready? There are two steps. In the first step, whatever the protein mixture or antigen mixture is subjected for electrophoresis by adding this antigen mixture into the well which is present at the negative electrode which is also called as the cathode. Now this particular antigens or proteins they will migrate through this particular agarose gel through uh, depending on their size, shape, charge and the weight. Now in the second step the antisera containing specific antibodies is added into the turf as a result, when if this particular antigens and antibodies they are complementary to each other, it will result into the formation of the visible insoluble arc that is called as the precipitation arc or precipitating arc. Getting? Now, this particular technique has certain advantages. The advantages of agarogel electrophoresis involves it has got high resolving power. The resolving power of immunoelectrophoresis is very high because we are using two techniques that is agarogen electrophoresis for separation of antigens and the second one is octolony double immunodiffusion. And the second point it involves or it facilitates the separation of large number of serum proteins. Large number of serum proteins they can be separated or analyzed by using the technique of immunoelectrophoresis. The second, the disadvantages 
of this particular technique includes or limitations includes this particular technique it is time consuming because it requires on an average 48 to 72 hours, 72 hours for completion or to getting the result and it is less sensitive second point if you look at the antigens it cannot be used, this particular technique cannot be used for food analysis because antibodies are not present for analysis of food by using this particular technique and the third point it does not allow the analysis or detection of it doesn't allow the detec detection of small monoclonal young proteins the applications of immunoelectrophoresis includes it is used to check the composition purity and antigenic property of proteins second point it is used to identify and approximately quantify the serum proteins Serum proteins are approximately quantified and identified by using this particular technique. Second, third, it is used to detect the abnormal proteins, proteins like myeloma proteins. The immunoelectrophoresis is also used in diagnosis of monoclonal gammopathies. Monoclonal gammopathies like multiple myeloma. or which is also called as Camelot's disease. The immunoelectrophoresis is used to monitor the purity of antigen or antigen antibody complex. It is used to check or to analyze complex antigenic proteins. Seven point to analyze the monoclonal Yum proteins in the serum and monoclonal Yum proteins of serum and and the last point, diagnosis used for diagnosis and evaluation of evaluation of immune disorders. Thank you.